This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. There's been a new patch to hit the test live server and today we're going to talk about it. Let's get to it. So this patch brings three major changes to the game. The first is they've implemented what they're calling the Funcom Live Services System, which includes a friends list as of right now. I don't know if that's going to include anything else in the future but if we go over here and we hit escape and we go to our menu here you can see we have friends list we can see our friends list uh, we can see our friend requests our session invites and who we've blocked we have the option down here to add a friend I'm guessing to refresh the system here to refresh the list and uh, then you can see your Funcom ID and you can copy your Funcom ID to a clipboard to quickly send it to whoever. I don't have anybody added to this list yet, so I don't know what all you can do with it. I'm assuming it allows you to quickly invite people to a game. Beyond that, I don't know. But th this whole thing seems really strange to me because we already have a friends list built into Steam and I'm not sure what they're trying to do with this whole live services thing and I'm making the, the air quotes right now. Uh, I feel like they're trying to be something that they're not. I mean, they already kind of had a live services thing essentially going with the DLCs that they were included. Technically, that could be included um, a game as a service. And it, now it's like they're trying to add all of these things to the to the game that just seem somewhat redundant to me. And it's like they're trying to keep up with other AAA titles that started out as a live service. And here you have a game that was just released on Steam and now they're trying to make it into something different. I don't know. It's just kind of weird and redundant to me. Next up, they're bringing back the gods. And this one... This is just, what are you doing, Funcom? Like, I don't understand. So, yeah, great, they're bringing back gods. They need to be brought back. But when I pictured gods coming back, like... I figured they were going to come back with like a massive siege update and it was just going to be like a big glorious thing because they have been MIA for a very long time. I think we're just shy of a year, if not a little over a year that they've been out of the game. It's that's a long time for the changes that were made to gods. You want it? You ready for this? You ready for the changes? Now, this is just what they mentioned in the patch notes. I haven't really thoroughly tested them yet. I summoned in two, didn't really see anything different. But in the patch notes, they, they mention summon tokens now have a six hour cooldown down from the 48. And then summon tokens can no longer be moved from other inventories. Um, as an exception, they can be looted from a player's corpse. So you can basically move them from the inventory that they're in when you create them to your inventory. Then once they're in your inventory, they're stuck in there unless somebody kills you and then it moves to another player inventory. That's it. You can't drop them either. So if you want to pass it on to someone in your clan, they have to murder you or you take your bracelet off and then they can loot it directly from your body in order to get it into their, their inventory. You can't drop it or share it or anything like that. That's it. That is a ridiculously little amount of change for as long as gods have been MIA. And I don't understand. It's like, what what were you do? Were they just being pushed back? Because they kept saying, we're working on them, we're working on them, we're working on them. And... Then they come back and that's it. There's no way that took a year to make those changes. Like, I don't understand what's going on. Is this the first of the many changes that we're going to see to them? Or is this just it? I don't, I don't get it. Like I said, I summoned in two. I summoned in uh, Jabal Sag and Set. And I didn't see any, any real differences. Um, they lasted a minute, which if I remember right, that's all they've ever lasted and uh, yeah, but once again, I haven't really been able to test them super thoroughly. I would need somebody online with me to help me test that. Uh, I might see if I can get somebody to help me test those to see if there's been any other changes, but that's just like, I almost feel like this update is uh, we have to hurry up and meet our deadline 
style update to please investors or something. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop going on about that. Next up, we have the Thrall nerf. The first part, I'm guessing, I don't know, they don't really state whether, you know, how many iterations there's going to be on this, but there is a definite thrall nerf. So they've rebalanced follower HP and damage across the board. They reduced the HP gain on average of 33%. Some higher tier followers received an additional 16% reduction to their base values. They've reduced melee damage by an average of 40%. They've reduced range damage values by an average of 30%. Then they say that they've removed the penalties for thralls who use attacks outside their specialization. So damage multipliers, we just got a few examples here of the damage multipliers and we'll take a look at their stats. If you remember, Delencia used to be 3.9, she's now 2.21. We have Leon here. Leon's a 1.93. I don't remember what his used to be. And uh, we have Spinus here. Spinus is uh, 2.21. So it looks like the high tier fighters, the Volcano Thrall tier is what we're going to call them. The 3.9 tier has been dropped down to 2.21. And then others have been dropped down significantly more or as well, I should say. So... How does that relate to damage wise? Well, I have a Delencia over here and we're gonna throw some stuff at her and I'm going to show you. So she, well, let me show you their base stats real quick. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So like if we take a look at her base stats, it's not it's not that big of a nerf. She's got five, 5K HP and um, I mean, that's still a crap load of HP. Uh, Leon here, Leon, 3,700. Spinus, 4,750. Still an insane amount of HP. More than more than what they need. And then over here, uh, we have a leveled up Delencia. She's leveled to 20. Now that's a significant decrease. That's, that's about half of what she would normally get. Normally she'd be anywhere from 10 to 14. And now she's at 7, 9, 4, 6. That's, um, that's a decent cut to HP but it doesn't make her any less powerful. Now let's take a look at her stats here. If you take a look at her stats, she's still plenty of strength. It's a 20% increase in damage. Once again, we don't know how they changed that number. So I just recently did a video about how much damage they gain per point. That's going to have changed. We don't know what that is. I won't know until the dev kit is put out and, or I should say the dev kit is updated. You can see her accuracy is only 8%, but she's still getting a bonus 4,721 health, which is crazy. So I have her in just basic Sumerian set here and sort of Chrom. I I don't even have a kit on it so 91 damage 22 percent armor pen um she's still getting the 10 10 uh, hp per second heal uh you can't see that right now you have, just have to trust me on that one with the exotic feast uh, let's spawn something in here so we're just gonna start off with another fighter let's just throw in a uh a tier three fighter here we go did she just is that not a hey hey fight there we go so there you can see she did 221 damage, just crushed him. He has very little armor. She still hits extremely hard. Two times damage on a weapon with that high of uh, damage is, is a lot of damage. So let's give her a boss. Let's give her one of these abandoned uh, city bosses here. And this, this guy's a good one for her to go at. And let's get her to follow so you can see uh, her health up there at the top. And I'll keep tabbing on him. And you can see the, the numbers popping up there. Uh, 135, 252, God, two, yeah, she's easily doing 200, another 135. Now, the only real difference that they've done here, while that's a, a, a pretty big drop in her usual 400 or more, um, the only thing that this has really done is just make things more grindy because I still don't need to fight. I still don't need to get in here and do anything. And yeah, maybe with a lesser thrall, you would need to, but you're not going to go take on these type things with a lesser thrall. You're going to get a good thrall and go in here and fight these bosses when you actually decide to start grinding these bosses. And it's not hard to get to that point in this game. They've nerfed them 
but the nerf just doesn't make a difference it doesn't they're still the hero of the story here they even said like in the patch notes that they felt like the hero and you were their sidekick that's still the situation this this balance did nothing and if i wanted to i could even just spam healing arrows just in case the exotic beast was not doing a good enough job healing her and you can see that with the armor that she has here and the healing that she's getting he's he's useless the boss can't do anything they're gonna need to do a massive rebalance to do this if they want to make thralls not the hero it's going to take an entire game rebalance you can't just nerf the thralls a little bit by what let's say half it wasn't half across the board but we're just going to say nerf them by half and and make the game different it's still the same thing they've changed nothing all they've done is make it grindier we're going to wait longer to kill something i still don't need to get in there and fight now once again this could be i mean this is probably different with with lower level thralls let's spawn in a couple just random tier four thralls here and we'll take a look we'll level them up and take a look okay so here we go we got a bunch of uh fighters here we're just going to take a look so berserker 5,000 HP, more than enough to tank anything. There's his stats. Stats still look good. Let's take a look at his uh, damage multipliers. If you see here, the multipliers for the Berserker have, uh, I mean, they're 1.65, 1.785. Once again, with that kind of HP and the regen that they get and the healing that you can provide for them, those low numbers don't really matter and they're still higher than what we do in most cases. Okay, let's take a look at this guy here. So we got this guy, uh, 4,000 HP. Let's take a look at his stats. You know, still decent stats, still bonus of 3,000 HP. Let's check out his multipliers. So it still looks like they get a damage penalty for weapons that they don't specialize in, which I'm not sure what that means if that was not the difference between ranged and melee i'm not sure once again i need to get my hands on the updated dev kit to find out for sure what all that means but you can see his multipliers there are the most recent two 1.456 and 0 0.735 but I mean, I think I've I pretty much made my point here. We'll we'll continue to take a look at these. But 4,000 HP, this guy here, 6,666 HP, 4,000. Two. Okay, this guy only has 2,000. He's just a tier three fighter. Another tier three. This guy, tier three fighter, ended up with 7,000 HP. Let's take a look at his stats. Bonus of 5,000. HP from from his stuff here like insane and then this guy here only 2,000 so the 2,000 one may be a bit bit different situation when we put them in the arena over there but if we take a look at his damage multipliers so he's only getting a slight buff to his damage but with that kind of HP and even the regen that they get, that's not going to make much of a difference if we bring him over here and we'll just put him in the arena and I'll show you even these lower level ones. Let's grab all of the crap off of her. So we put him in good armor and you can see we've already just massively increased his health even though he did not get anything to strength it doesn't even matter because it's just a grind situation you just be patient let's spawn in a boss real quick we'll just grab the wrangler again and uh let him go at it and here we go so you can see his damage 110 there uh let's let him hit again i didn't catch that one i'm sure you saw it there but i will i didn't see it pop up he actually attacks 183 so he's not doing a lot of damage but look at his hp look how low it's going down 92 119 he's got good armor he's got crazy healing and he can just sit here and basically it's a war of attrition that you're always going to win so even if i was worried that he wasn't getting enough healing up oh, there okay there you go now he is so who cares he's perfectly fine we can tell him to follow us so you can see up there at the top we'll tab on that guy again so yeah he's just gonna grind him down it doesn't it doesn't really matter even though he does a lower damage he still has an insane way more hp like if you want to balance things they need to be hp their hp needs to be like ours you know like super low when they have thousands 
They're essentially bosses, and they're always going to be better than we are. Okay, I think I pretty much made my point on the whole balancing thing. I mean, they've been... In, I'm, I'm really disappointed in this patch because they've been just golden the past couple of patches. Just nailing it and, and just crushing expectations. But now, with this one, it just seems so rushed to me. Just seems so rushed. It, it, it really feels like it was a let's just get it out because we have to meet this deadline. And now whether it was or not, I have no idea. That's just pure speculation. I'm just telling you how it feels to me. Whether that's the case, I don't know. But that's what this one feels like. And the whole thing with the gods, you cannot tell me that the gods were MIA for an entire year for two changes. That is terrible. Somebody needs fired if that's the case. Like, I don't know who was responsible for that, but that is sad if that's the only changes that happen. Once again, I need to do more testing to see if, if there was any other changes that weren't mentioned in the patch notes. But if what was mentioned in the patch notes was it to bring the gods back, that's terrible. That's, that's really terrible. But uh, yeah, that's it for this patch. I will uh, continue to do some testing. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's coming, give you, let you know what's going on with the game, what to look forward to, and get your feedback on it. Let you know this is on test live right now, so go test it out. Give your feedback on the forums. I'm telling you, people, it is so important that they're making use of test live. It is so important that if you are playing on PC, to jump over there, check it out. They have test live servers up. Jump over there, test them out check out single player spawn stuff in i mean the mods work just fine you can see you can get a hold of pippy use pippy it works just fine spawn things in test things out and then report stuff on the official forums give them feedback on the official forms. Don't just watch this video and go give feedback. Download the test live version of the game and go check it out. Report bugs and give legit feedback on the forums. They read the forms. Trust me, they read them. They may not always respond, but they do. And meanwhile, this whole fight's been going on, and you can see our dude up there, his health at the top, he's just fine, and he slowly whittled this guy down. So, yeah, once again, just to drive my point home really well there. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.